Hey guys, it's Jeff back with you in my second video today just because iOS 11 Beta 3 was released and I wanted to let you all know about the changes that are seen in this release. The first noticeable change is seen in the new cover sheet which shows your notifications. Now when you pull it down it will automatically show your notifications without you having to swipe up and make that extra gesture. Most likely this will remain the same and I think it just flows a lot better when searching for your notifications. There were a lot of complaints about that swipe up feature and I think Apple heard you all out and are now changing it to see how you guys like it now. The next change that we saw was in the control center. The notes and camera extended menu options upon force touch or in this case on an iPad with an extended touch has more refined menus which look a lot better. I think that by Apple working on upgrades like these point to them trying to make the user experience as much out of their settings app as possible. Yes, you still have to go to the settings app to do a lot of things, but the customization of the control center and how many functions you have makes it more fluid when you don't have to open an app just to get things done. There were a lot of minor changes and bug fixes, but one significant change to the UI was the ease of opening the camera app from the cover sheet. Now that you don't have to swipe up to get your notifications, you can actually swipe to the right as if you were on your lock screen. There you can just access the camera quickly and snap a photo. It's just a simple addition which can go a long way if you're trying to capture something fairly quickly. On the iPad, if you want to delete an app from the app switcher, you'd no longer have to use the long hold method to get the X button to pop up. You actually just simply swipe up to have them disappear from the app switcher. This is a lot more seamless as the X's were just kind of laggy and swiping up just seems to be a lot more fluid when you are navigating the control center. Overall, this is a great update which has had a lot of bug fixes. The springboard feels a lot more snappy when navigating through it and everything just feels like it's getting up to speed. The iPad Pro has always been fast, but the iPhone has been a little bit laggy. But now it seems to be quite fluid when I'm navigating through all of the apps and I don't seem to have problems like before. When opening and closing apps, I can see a huge difference. I would love to know if you guys have experienced any changes so far in this update and how you like them. If there is anything you are still waiting to see from iOS 11, make sure to throw that thought down there in the comment section down below. We are always interested to hear those thoughts. Thank you guys for watching and we always appreciate and always look forward to hearing back from you. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button to see some more upcoming content as we have some really cool stuff coming up in the near future. Again, thank you for watching, and until we see you in our next video, we hope you all have an awesome day.